It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it Hey man, YouTube It's Young Swan Swan Listen up man I make one of, the, one of these videos every year So y'all be sure to watch this full video This is going to be the best Build tutorial on YouTube For just builds in general or just for you Christmas noobs or you guys got extra VC I'm gonna let you know the um the best PG builds is it's gonna be quick I'm gonna go through it the best bads layout the the best lockdowns the the best but it's, it's gonna be all undersized builds I'm not going into power forwards and centers it's gonna be the best PGs and small forwards I'm gonna go into a lot of nuances that people don't know a lot of key features that you want on your particular build and um the best builds for your style I'm gonna break it down all for you so make sure y'all subscribe drop a like Turn on post notifications. Drop a like if you appreciate this. And um, let me know how you feel in the comment section down below. Let me know what builds you got, man. So look, now I'm going to let y'all know probably the best overall build at least for park. Or at least for threes, okay? I'm going to go with the guards first and then the lockdowns. You know, the ones that lockdowns, by the way, they could play this three spot and in the two spot. You know, and, and things going on big streaks. But look, listen, the play shot. Okay, now I think this is overall probably the best build. Um, I don't, th I don't think a lot of people are hip to that. Um, and I'm gonna give you my reasons why. Now, first of all, to unlock this build, you are going to want the um playmaking and shooting um pie chart. Okay, it's like half and half. Blah blah blah. And you get basically gold finishing badges, uh, gold defensive, and Hall of Fame playmaking, and Hall of Fame shooting. Okay, this is very good. Now, um, I'm going over the main builds, okay? The main builds. Um, there's like subcategory builds, like if you do some weird stuff, or you make your build worse, like a pure shot creator. It's basically a play shot, okay? Um, they're they're just slight variations like the the playmaker or the three-point playmaker it's basically a slashing playmaker but it's better the three-point playmaker is like a, a a lower mid-range play shot it's just little stupid dumb names i mean you you could search particular um vids to get that name but i'm gonna tell you how to really build it for for the best overall features now when you make your play shot you want all your shooting badges okay all your shooting badges so max out all the shooting and you're going to want to you know take it down do all that little hoobla stuff you're going to want as many playmaking badges as possible also okay now with your finishing very important when making your play shot listen very closely okay you want at least three finishing badges three through six okay a lot of people made a big mistake of having one you do not want to build any build like that, okay? You need finishing badges, okay? It's a lot of cheese with the finishing. Um, if you ISO, you use screens, blah, blah, blah. You need finishing or you are going to really lose out on a lot of possessions and for defense, okay? Now, when you create your builds, bro, build it on who you play with and what you play. Like, for instance, if you play twos, you need a lot of defensive badges so keep that in mind and you might have to lower some other stuff but you need a lot of defensive badges okay and also if you are just like a threes player like me for instance i only play threes like i don't play twos and i only run with lockdowns like i will not play 2k without a lockdown if i'm playing on a build like a play shot okay so if you don't always run with lockdowns and sometimes you have to guard ball and stuff you are going to need to have defensive badges minimum you need at least six minimum i mean you could get a, you could get away with you know minimum six okay to be able to you know and um you're gonna make his height around like you know i i say six five i don't know why people make shorter builds no shorter than six four you can even go 6'6", six, six. but another key thing, 
you're going to want to make it to where you have your ball control on 86 you can have a higher wingspan or a default wingspan or lower it you really want that shooting to go crazy and by the way you get a plus five on everything so you know build them up you know blah 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 but um you want to want him to have an 86 ball control when you actually use him to play park or whatever and blah 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 but overall i think this is the best build because i think um i mean for fun um and it's so hard to explain overall i think this is the best compy build because hall of fame playmaking um you're you're going to be fast you're going to get a lot of stuns and you can double up on the dimer and the floor I don't know. a lot of people keep saying the offensive threat's the best i only say that's the that's the easiest best to use for pro-am and rec okay if you're just using it in the park or stage you should just make a play shot especially if it's a comp cheesy style you should definitely just make a play shot because you're faster bigger more defensive badges and you don't need those contact dunks when you just shooting threes all game you know but um yeah um yeah so let's move on to the next build now the offensive threat bro and by the way, the play shot, make him a PG. You get more badges as PG. So just for y'all don't know, if y'all want to timestamp everything down in the comments, go ahead. Um, now the offensive threat to get this build, you're going to want to make, um, you're going to want to pick the shooting and slashing pie chart. Okay. Yeah. Um, now with this build, the, the same features as before, bro you're going to get hall of fame shooting and hall of fame finishing on this build it is it is out of the guard builds probably the best guard build for pro-am and rec so if you play a lot of pro-am i know a lot of y'all don't but this is still a good build it's still stupid dope for parking stuff because hall of fame shooting badges you shoot way better with hall of fame shooting badges but gold badges you can still be cash like i'd be killing people on my slash and play man but this, it dumbs down the game. It makes it real easy. So if you're not good, you can make this build. Um, but keep in mind, to do the aggressive, you need 86 ball control. So create your build to where you can eventually get 86 ball control, man. Um, of course, you're going to have to go minimum with this guy. This is the build that you have to go a little um, smaller or lower with. But to be honest, I would, you know... You can make them 6-5 and then at 99 get the, the um, 86 ball control, but you might have to make them 6-4. But, you know, keep in mind, you're going to need those defensive badges, at least 6. Um, finishing, go for like 11, 12. It's, it's not too serious. The, the key thing for this is for playmaking. You want at least 15 playmaking badges on your offensive threat. And you could build everything else how you want. But, um also you play twos you know i mean you play threes you could get off with not a lot of defensive badges but if you play twos you need defensive badges there are other offensive threats you're gonna be playing centers all this other stuff especially y'all y'all so stupid y'all make these small builds and you complain about the game and slashing and it's just it's dumb you better put a lot of defensive badges on your build bro especially if you playing twos you know you you gotta have it bro you got to and even even threes like you gotta you gotta put badges on on this build bro i mean yeah so very great build now the slash and playmaker i currently have this build i'm gonna be working on a play shot the best version for it and all that but slash and playmaker i just dropped this video y'all can go peep that if you want the ins and the outs best badge lineup for um finishing shooting playmaking defense all that hoobla now the slash and playmaker for this pie chart you're going to go with mostly playmaking and then the red blue and green look all the same you can get like the playmaker out of this and blah 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 now how you want to build this guy you can actually make him taller than most builds you can have him have a bigger wingspan than most builds but listen for this build, very important, 
you want him at the end of when you're making him to have at least an 80 driving dunk so you can unlock contact dunks okay or i think it's 79 um because when you get 99.9 keep that in mind you got to get 99.9 unlock the contact dunks all of them the elite ones and then you get the true maximization of this build okay um you're gonna need all your shooting so low-key you don't really need your shooting but um you're gonna get um goal finishing goal shooting and hall of fame playmaking a lot of playmaking you know go crazy with it um you could break a lot of ankles with this build you could shoot lights out um you're gonna want minimum 15 shooting badges um for finishing you know 10 11 12 it's it's it's, it's up to you um definitely nine definitely okay and um with this build the slash and playmaker it's great for twos amazing okay um it's great for threes too but um for instance like you can build this guy and you can make him 11 finishing 15 shooting like 27 playmaking and nine defensive so this guard build you can have way more defensive badges than than most of the other guard builds and of course you're gonna make him a pg um oh and by the way the takeover is personally it's it's up to it's up to you bro um the takeovers in general the shot creator i think it's nerfed people still using it they still repping it um that fade and stuff is definitely nerfed so i i would choose the sharp one if you're gonna choose a shooting one um because you get like plus 10 shooting and shit instead of just the plus five or the plus by the way the playmaking badge if you want to drop people you you have to pick that badge i still have not dropped one person in this game and it's because i i don't have that badge equipped i usually have slash and takeover or the lock takeover and the slash and takeover it makes you fast just like the playmaking but another thing the playmaking badge does that a lot of people don't know is it boosts your dimer so like i hear it's like an automatic green once you pass out of that but um if you want me to make people fall like fall fall not just stuns because you can make it people stun with anything you're gonna need that playmaker badge it's all up to you but you know i'll be trying to dunk on people for content and, and so i'll be picking the slasher but yeah and for this build you six 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 five and if you don't too much care about contact dunks because you're still going to have contact dunks to be able to quit but you're not going to have the elite ones but you know if you don't really too much care about that go ahead and make them six six dog you know you can afford it you know but just make sure your ball handle you need it to be 86 bro okay so you can make them big and you can really you could really bully people on the twos you could have his wingspan you know if you're better and you don't mind the shooting nerf and stuff you could really lock you could be a lockdown and have like high shooting still like and like really lock people up on the twos threes whatever um you know all it all depends on who you play with how you make these builds now with the sharp facilitator i'm not too sure about this build but i'm gonna tell y'all anyway by the way make sure you get at least three finishing badges maybe maybe you might not for this guy but um for this guy i would definitely make it to where <sighs> sharps uh, kind of waste they do get a little kind of more defense i don't know um the sharps i'm glad they got nerfed this year but you still get 30 shooting badges so if you really suck go ahead make this guy <laughs> 30 shooting badges you can fade from everywhere you could do everything blah 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 at least have three finishing badges bro and um think about your takeover um you're gonna want your ball because like when you get into takeover you can start doing aggressive and all that other hoobla stuff so you might want to you know have a little short wingspan or whatever and you know because to where you can eventually get 86 ball control so keep that in mind for defense um if you play twos you're gonna definitely want to have at least you know 
uh, like six, seven, you know, all the, all this other. You gonna you gonna once have some badges. Now, um, I don't know, bro. This is the perfect build to run on threes if you're running with like a two way playmaker or something like that. Um, I don't I don't I don't know too much about this. But now the two way playmaker, the two way finisher. Um, you are going to want to make these builds point guards, okay? This is the um, the pie chart you gotta have for this is the playmaking and defensive pie chart. You're gonna wanna make them PGs. Now listen, this is very intricate. This is more intricate than the guard builds. Locks are very important. Now, these are the best on ball locks that can shoot and green everything. I green with the, you know, now, now look, when you make these builds, you're gonna wanna have minimum 10 shooting badges, minimum, okay? Now, if you're going to actually just be a lock, like a lock lock, like you're not going to be running ball, like point guard and shit and all that, but you actually can. You could be a two way, you could green from three, you could lock everyone up and you can aggressive every play. So I'm gonna tell y'all how to build each level of these people um now you're driving dunk you definitely want to have for your lockdown you're, you're definitely going to want to have it it over to where it can eventually get over 85 the amount of badges you are going to want is around like uh you know 10 12 11 you know so, something like that you're gonna want it hot okay um, now with the shooting you want 10 minimum even if you spotting up, okay, and you you could green everything now I'm gonna tell you all the two-way playmaker. This is like one of the best twos builds because a lot of people <gasps> They're not used to playing lockdowns on the twos, okay, because of how this year is people can't run the uh, the sharp and the stretch and all that well they can now, but you know a lot of people aren't used to playing lockdown so this is like the perfect build for the twos bro like you can really hurt people because you can slash op guard ball op you're getting a lot of stops no matter what bro now <sighs> your playmaking for the two-way slashing playmaker you're gonna want to have at least 20 badges you get that easy okay keep in mind don't go too high on your wingspan because you want the 86 ball control so you can aggressive whenever. I would make him 6'5", minimum, okay? You could even go 6'6", six, six, okay? Now, for the defensive, 19, bro. That's the, or 20. 20 or 19, you can make him 10, 10, 20, 20 dog bill okay you can even run the threes with them and you know run the duo um ball handling build this build is amazing for rec pro-am it's an all-around really you know so you know you play off ball um on offense it's it's a it's a real good build now i recommend if you're going to run point Make him have T-Rex arms, you know, so you get as much shooting um, attribute as possible or whatever. Now, if you're going to just only guard ball and you all only, you have a point, you have a bunch of point guards and shit, uh, just max his wingspan, okay? I have a lockdown with max wingspan because, you know, I'm gonna be getting boards, blocking, playing defense, getting better steals. But keep in mind, you're not going to be able to aggressive. Aggressive is the best move in the game. And, you know, all that other stuff gets you stuns and all that. Now, that's where you get these different labels from. It's like the two-way finisher. When it says two-way finisher, it's because they don't have a lot of playmaking. Like, they're still built like this. By the way, this build can have a 99 speed. Okay? So it's faster than every guard build. It could get contact dunks. It could green unlimited ankle breakers, and it has the best defense possible in the game. So it's a stupid, really good, overpowered build. Now, it's all up to you. Two-way finisher, you can make them bigger, you know, 6'6". Six, six. Don't make them no shooting guard, small forward. I don't know why people are, like, doing that. 
PG. You feel me? That's where you get the most badges. Now, for the perimeter lock, this is... Now, by the way, the two ways and all that, the slash and two ways, two-way finisher, it's for more of people who are better at the game. I would say if you suck, make a perimeter lock if you're looking to make a, a lockdown or two-way sharp or whatever. Make the two-way sharps and the perimeter lockdowns if you're not too good at the game. The reason I say that is because your speed's not going to be that high. Your Duncan's not going to be that high, but you have Hall of Fame shooting badges. So it makes it way easier for you, but you, you're not going to be as clampy as the, the two-way, nor as fast to really guard meta guards. But that's only like 1% of 2K, okay? So the perimeter lock, and you know, you can do wraps, and you know, you can have like an 83 and all this other Hall of Fame shooting badges, and... You know, you got Hall of Fame shooting badges. There's, there's no excuse to miss. Now, for this guy, you want minimum. Minimum three finishing badges. But you want to be able to make him to where he can still catch alley-oops. A lot of people make their perimeter locks to where they can't catch alley-oops. And then they'll end up making a new player. When you go for rep or um, comp games and all this other stuff, you need to be able to throw the oop to a lock and not have them not go up soft so you might want six i'm not too sure how many badges you need or certain ratings to where you go up for oops and stuff but definitely get like six on them for the shooting i think like minimum like 15 uh for the playmaking i see a lot of perimeter locks they don't really be running playmaking so i'm not too sure about that that's up to you and the defensive i'm also not too sure but yeah, to get that build, you're gonna definitely have to go with the uh, with the green and red pie chart. You see, yeah, you you still get a decent dunk, you know. You still get a decent dunk. And with these physical profiles, really look at them, okay? Now, for the physical profiles stuff, you have to uh, keep in mind once you hit 99, if you can get there, or just in general. You're, you're gonna have plus three plus four most likely plus three or plus two like once you're like 97 overall or whatever to your your overall stats and your physicals plus the gym rat um gym rat is very easy when you're grinding your badges make sure you play on five minute quarters to where you get at least 45 games and then just sim to the playoffs win the playoffs and you get gym rat and that's plus four to all your physicals so when you look at your bill keep in mind you're going to be plus 10 in everything and by the way your overall it affects your physicals too so say your, your speed's 88 when he's 99 you're going to have a 98 speed plus the gym rat plus being 99 and all that so always keep that in mind when you build your stuff and you're like going for the verticals and stuff and the, and the strengths i hear strength help you get through screens and and um i'm not too sure about it i don't know i hear verticals help you dunk more um and yeah just, just keep that in mind when you when you're making your builds and all that and also another build this is the last build i'm gonna cover is the rebound and wing okay now, I think the rebound and wing has to be a shooting guard or a small forward. Now, I've not made this build. I would just tutorial this build, but um, I don't even know what pie chart it is. Um, I know it has to be a shooting guard or a small forward. You can make the shooting guard version. Keep in mind, when you run across rebound and wings, they're not fast, so you can cook them. You can, if you're good, and you can get cooked. They're, they're not as fast as the perimeter or the two-way but they can play some defense and they can board and they have hall of fame shooting badges just keep in mind when you build this build bro make sure you have at least six finishing okay at least 15 shooting and you know get you a lot of uh defense and rebounding because rebounding wings they can they can even run the two spot they can handle centers and get bored so really Get that um, offensive rebound and defensive rebound high, okay? And um, rebound, these are all the best meta 
um, builds in the game. Um, if you guys could timestamp everything, and um, if you got any questions down below, you can DM me on Twitter. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch, almost 100K. You come in my stream and ask me all types of questions, or DM me, or ask a question down in the comments. If it's like way too much, I guess hit me on Twitter and or come to my stream, and I'll, I'll just show you. I'll walk y'all through it. I think I covered everything. Make sure y'all share this with your friends. Give them a timestamp. Subscribe if you know. Um, go to the gym seven days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. I love all you guys. I appreciate all the love. Merch coming soon. Type second to none down in the comments if you made it this far. And I'm out this hole.